There was a bright flash. I don't know where the light came from, but I knew, at that precise moment, I was dreaming. I remember I could hear that flash, for a moment, as a big, loud scramble as things falling from the sky and hitting the ground. But it was just a moment. Then nothing. I couldn't hear the flash. I couldn't hear anything else, but I wasn't deaf. My, my heart was working, I could feel the pulse. And when I put down my feet on the carpet, I listened to the contact of my skin with the fabric. It was thunderous, unexpected. I trembled, surprised as a kid watching online his first screamer video. With equal satisfaction, since that let me know I was safe, it was the others, the rest of the world, not me. Never me. The little things you expect to be in the background, all of the things you've learned to pay attention to once in a while. The birds outside. The footsteps on the sidewalk. The voices from distant conversations. The engines two blocks away. None of that was there. And more. The things you've learned to ignore. The gas passing by the tubes and the heat system in your house. The barely noticeable buzz of your light bulb. All of those small noises any house, any building makes, all gone. It was just my body, working. My breath. The air touching my nostrils, the blood pumping in my veins. My stomach destroying the sandwich I ate an hour ago. And then, the world around when I touched it, when I did something. My hand in the latch, my foot as I ran downstairs, my shoulders as I hit a wall trying to get outside. I need to scream and nobody has ears, but I did scream anyway. I did scream as I ran down the streets and the kids played in the yard and the cars went by and the planes roamed the skies as the wind blew in the trees and I screamed and screamed and screamed and nobody listened. I stood in front of a man. I yelled at his face. His face. I know he couldn't listen, so I punched him. I punched him so hard I broke his fucking nose. He fell, covered in blood, and cried that soundless crying. In matter I became, and again, and again, and again, I punched him. I disfigured him with my bare hands until there was just a hole there, where there used to be a face. A face that someone called beautiful. Covered in his blood, with his own knuckles bleeding, I ran again. Up to the next unfortunate who crossed my path. And again I punched and punched and punched. I made my way, in that world devoid of external sounds. Beating, hurting, hurting idiots. Leaving a trail of blood and pain and suffering and misery in my wake. Monster the world demanded me to be by refusing to make real my every whim. After painting the floor in red, after walking in the sea of blood I made, with the liquid up to my knees, I... I met a wall. It was as wide as the world. It reached the sky and I wanted to go to the other side. So I punched it. I could feel the bones in my hands breaking. That didn't stop me. Someone has to suffer. Someone has to feel it. Am I mad? No. You are mad. All of you. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Every single bone in my arms was broken. Shattered to tiny little pieces. And as I kept punching, the force pulled them apart more and more with every attempt at tearing down that damn wall. And so, they became thorns and pushed through my cartilage and muscles, through my flesh and skin, flowed as small pieces left my body, and fell to the asphalt. And then, then I could not punch anymore. I had that wall, that obstacle, stained in red without a single scratch on its surface. And then it came. It was a mumble coming down from above, soft at first. I knew it was a voice that had traveled millions of light years to fall on me, anticipating my disgusting actions eons before my birth. From out of this world, from heaven, the voice of God demanding my answer. From hell, the voice of the devil demanding an answer. From inside my own guts, demanding an answer. And then, 
as I was looking up to heaven, down to hell, with eyes closed watching my inner me, the mumble grew and became a scream. Not like those I've heard before. It wasn't made of pain or anger or fear. It was made of disappointment. I felt as if it was about to crush me. I could feel the pressure all around, in every inch of my body. And I spoke, I prayed, the secret litany known only but those who dwell in perpetual woe, asking and begging, demanding and threatening those creatures from beyond perception to just fucking shut the hell up! It worked. It stopped. Somehow. And then it came, the gentle rain, and washed away the blood on the streets. On my body. On the wall. And I felt fresh and clean, even if it was just for a second. But the world, the world went back to silence. I could only hear, standing there, in a reality, empty because I emptied it. The rhythmic flow of air, from the universe to my lungs, back and forth, in a peaceful anger that could explode again, at any time. I think I woke up not long after that. For another video, tune in every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to check the link for our social media descriptions. Sleep well, if you can. <laughs>